Well, how do the jobs? We're back in No Man's Sky with part two of my quick and easy guide using the portal glyphs. Thanks to a Reddit user, credits and the links to the Reddit post are inside of the video description. Anyway, jumping back into game, we're on my freighter where we left off from last time. And yeah, it's just a case of you know, doing the actual missions that are left, really. Now, I do need to teleport back down to my base where there is a portal. So, sadly, I haven't got a teleporter on my actual freighter yet, people. So, I'm going to be using the Nexus. Let's go on out to the Nexus. I mean, actually, I could use the station. And we're at the station. Just have a look to see what language is being spoken inside of this system and chat to the actual aliens because we've still got to pop the badges. But talking to aliens of different kinds. I can't remember which one we popped. I think it was seven words of the Viking or Gek, one or the other. Let's have a quick look at the old expedition. Ah, so we've already got four of six of the words of the Gek. Is this a Gek system? It is. So yes, we need to go to the station to talk to the Gek. Oh, and look, people, as I was pulsing, it's brought in one of these Leviathans, because I've got the Dream Aerial. So we may as well do this, pretty much, people. We're going to get ourselves a free frigate, a living frigate at that. This takes ages. You have to go through lots of different dialogues. It, yeah, um, yeah, I'll see you in the station. At the end of all that, I got a B-Class. It's got no tail to it. It looks freaking hideous. It looks like some sort of dodgy tick, doesn't it? But there we go. We've got that tick in the box. Alladio, how far away is it to the blinking station now, people? It's going to lock onto every single blinking base known to man. Oh, for God's sake, I'm getting probed by the system of Faritas. Hopefully, I'm going to make it to the station before that. No, I'm not going to make it to the actual station. Oh, my days. They found my illegal contraband. Dang you! Okay, we're going to give them all of it, sod it. I just want to be on my merry little way. There you go, Sentinels. I was a good guy. Right. Well, oh well, we're not getting rich quick off of that one. Righto, chums, well, I've arrived, Dakota. Inside of the station, you know the drill, chums. You know how to talk to these little guys. These are Gex. These little guys are Gex. The robot-looking type guys, they're Corvax. The weird ones that look like they're out of the movie Predator, they're the Viking. So here we go, let's um, talk to this guy. I need to talk to two of these Gex to get myself what I'm after. So hopefully this is going to pop the badge on this one. I'm going to go talk to the Corvax as well, because I'm not sure that I've popped their badge yet. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a moment. Actually, let's just see if I pop this badge before I cut. Uh, is it going to work? Come on. Right, that's it. Yes, words for friends. Land six gek words. Done, done, and done. Right, eh? Well, um, let's get rid of that letterbox. Oh, there you go. That's the whole of phase one done now, and I wasn't even blinking trying, people. There we go. So we got that. And we should have the electric jetpack trailers now. And why I'm in the station, I might as well equip the dang things. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Let's grab that electric jetpack trail. Don't mind if I do. So yeah, now I could just talk to the Corvax because I think I still need to learn the Corvax words. So this guy here is a Corvax. I go over to the actual appearance modifier. I put on these jetpack trails, and we'll show you that. And while I'm up here, I'll have a look, see if I've got anything I need to sell and see if there's any sort of things to expand out. I mean, I could grab navigational data while I'm up here, but I don't think I'm going to need any navigational data for the rest of this sort of expedition. So let's head on over to this side. Exosuit, free infantry slots. OK, well, let's head on over. Let's have a look how many infantry slots I can install, because I think I passed up on some earlier. So I think they're now hidden, but they're still somewhere around. So I should be able to interact with this a few times. Yeah, I'll just stick them all in here. Let's see. Let's see if we can... In, here we go. Yeah, so I missed a couple. There we are. Boom, boom, boom. Lovely jubbly. Let's go put on those jetpack trails. If you haven't done this before, you need to step into this thing, the appearance modifier. Go to your backpack, and we should have the electric trail. Isn't it freaking lovely? So I'll select the Kate and that. Yes, I want to save the changes. Brilliant. Okay, I think I might have some augmentation for the ship. I might have, anyway. Upgrade Starship. Let's have a look, see if we've got it. No, I don't. So I probably haven't got none for the multi-tool either. I could go to a Galactic Trade Terminal, see if there's anything that is worth selling. But you know what? I think I might just hold on to the stuff that I've got right now. There's a few things I could install in Kate inside of my actual um, exosuit or multi-tool or whatever. I haven't been really installing these things. So let's just stick that there. Well, actually, put that there. Put that there. This over here. And we're getting the adjacency bonuses here, people. There you are. Chicka pow! I've not boosted anything. Let's try putting that on there. There we are. That'll work. And we've got a scanner module. I guess we do. Let's put all of our scanners over here. Now, there is a badge to try and get 20,000. So let's have a look to see if this guy here 
is actually selling any S-Class modules or A-Class on Scanner. It's got Blaze... Oh, he has! He's freaking got one! Okay, well, we're buying that. Now, you can reload these. So the system that I'm in right now, Discoveries, is this system here. It's discovered by Hello Games. So it's one of the expedition systems. It's the same planet that was at earlier, the EpiCAD one. It's a brilliant... Okay, right, well, let's head on over then. And um, let's... Uh, Go and save at my ship. We're going to do a reload. I was just pausing there for a second because we do have to grow our own plants. And one of the plants that we can grow that's quite cheap to grow is Fecium type plants. Yeah, so I was thinking of going back to Planet Efficat and getting a load. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to do a reload and I'm going to go buy a load more S-Class modules off of that guy, as many as I can. Okay, now I've reloaded. Going to revisit this little jabby. Burgess Monitor, and if I buy another one of these S-Class scanners... Hold on, he had S-Class last time, I'm sure he did, didn't he? Did I buy an S-Class? Okay. That's weird. Okay, well, I've just bought that one anyway. So let's have a look, see. Did I... Was I was I dreaming? No, they're, they're um, A-Classes. All right, fine. Well, having A-Classes in here should do the trick anyway. So put those there. Is there an additional scanner inside of here? There isn't. So that's about as good as it's going to get. There's no boosted slots inside of my multi-tool. So we can only but hope that that's going to push it up to what I need it to be. Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's press on on then. I might just jump back down to planet Efficad and get myself a load of feces. Hi girls, let's go do that quickly. So here we are, heading down to Planet Efficant to grab a load of Fecium. Lovely. But yeah, I was going to go back to my base and use the teleporter, but I think it would be good to get those plants growing now. I mean, you might be able to find a base where somebody's actually growing some, but... I think I should show you how to grow your own. So there's Efficad there. Let's head to this actual base that's already there. They might have some plants. If not, we go and get some... We go get our own Fecium from a deposit. Something I've noticed as well, chums, is this planet has also got activated copper, which means it's going to have storms, which means it's going to have storm crystals. And we need to grab five, five storm crystals. So heck yes, we're going to be doing that too. OK, well, I landed next to this player's base and you can see here there's some storm crystals right here, right now. And there's three of them all clustered together. So we can nab those as soon as a storm rolls in. And there's probably some more over there. I can see one just there. So we might be able to get these relatively quickly. I don't really need to scan all the creatures, but, you know, why the fudge not? Might as well why I'm here. Let's venture inside their base. Let's see if they've got anything going on inside here. It looks like they have got something happening inside of here. Let's have a quick look-see. No, I saw that little bush sticking through it. I thought they had plants, but they don't. Hold on one second. Ah, salvage container. All right, fine. We'll go over there. We'll dig it up and see if that pops the badge. Anything glitters. I mean, I'm waiting here anyway to see if storms happen. I know there's a knowledge stone there, but this is a gek system. We've already learnt all the gek words. So there's no point in hitting that up. All right, cool. Ah, OK, well, this is already sticking out of the ground, this one. Oh, fudging heck, I got whipped in the face. OK, well, let's um zap this. The only thing is, it is going to make sentinels come after me, which we don't really want. OK, train manipulator. Let's manipulate this out the ground. And let's pick up whatever this is. Boom. I'm going to mine this. Hopefully we're going to mine this. Come on. Let me mine it. Fudge sake, I'm going to blank and die with these gits getting me. Oh, there we go. There was another part to it. So blow that up. Blow that up. And hopefully get some treasures. Oh, hurry up. I don't know whether this pops the actual mission. Yes, it does. There we go. We've got all the glitters from this planet as well. I'm going to leg it back into this base, take shelter until a storm starts, and then we're going to be getting the storm crystal people inside the view of us. I guess we are. Oh, look at that. We got given a, sent a sentinel boundary map as well for doing that. So I could go and get myself a sentinel multi-tool. There's the message I was waiting for. A superheated storm is inbound. Hopefully those sentinels have stopped tracking me now because there was no time in between the last cut and this one. Hopefully any second now when the clouds all start to cover. Look, you see all the clouds all merging. Look at that. Isn't it creepy? But soon these storm crystals will spring to life and I will grab them. Yes, I will. I will grab them. Right, I'm going to just um, top up my hazardy protection. Well, not my hazardy protection, that one. Fudge. Okay. Storm inbound. Here we go. These crystals are going to start glowing any second now. That one looks like it's already starting. Okay. Come on. Come on. Light up like Christmas trees. Hello, big guy. How are you? 
Yeah, he was the um, Boots of Thunder or whatever it was. Feet of Thunder, Thunder Feet, whatever. Okay, cool. We've got those ones. There's one over there. Let's lug it. Let's go get that one. Run, Captain Steve. Run like the wind. Like uh, it's not a gentle, breezy kind. Like a tornado or a hurricane. Rock it like a hurricane. Heck yes. Right, we're nearly there. I know. Singing talents. Singing talents. It's really hot here in the UK. If you're wondering why I'm in a vest top, I know I've already just touched on it now, but it's freaking sweltering. We're having our own sort of extreme weather right now, people. Yeah, it's like our season has moved. It's like summer has been extended or something. It's not, not usually this hot for this long. I mean, I do remember one year that it got that hot that the tarmac on roads started melting. But then again, you know, we use the cheapest grade of tarmac you're going in this country. Right, grab that. Lovely jubbly. Oh, look, there's some more here. I think we're about done. Let's just grab all of these. Pow! Is that all five? I've counted at least five. Okay, maybe I need more then. All right, we'll just carry on going to the badge freaking pop, shall we? 300 years away. I'm sure I saw one that was in closer proximity than that. Oh, yeah, there's one back that way. Let's go there. Okay, come on. Let's go, 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 like the wind. Better top that back up again. We're using up all of our sodiums. Yeah, I should have I should have duplicated a load of ion batteries for this run, to be honest, while I was inside that base. But the storm came, and, you know, you've got to do what the storm tells you to. Oh, yes. Yes, you don't just look destiny in the face and say, no, destiny. No, you have to press on on, don't you? Heck, yes. Come on, run like the freaking wind. Okay, this sort of time of night, you're going to hear the odd vehicle going past my house. I don't know whether my mic was good enough to pick that up. There we go, we're done. Right, where's my ship? Let's get back to there before I need to use up some more freaking sodium. Am I going to make it before that bar depletes and before my feet melt? Okay, come on, run. Run, run, run. Oh, great. Yeah, my stamina's shite, people. I'm like a slug in taffy. I'm going to make it, though. I think I'm going to make it before that bar goes out. It's going to be close. Oh, fudging heck. Now I'm not. I fell in a blanking hole. Story of my life. Okay, there we go. Let's get in. Fewy, fewy, fewy. Okay, right. Well, the only thing we haven't done was the thing that I came here to do. <laughs> I have to get a load of Fecium. I'm just going to wait till my bar goes up and then I'm going to look for a Fecium deposit. And then we're going to fly to the Fecium deposit. Hopefully I've got enough launch for us to fuel. And yeah, we've got six of them. Well, that's okay. That's not too bad. Right, let's jump on out. Let's, let's, let's face the weather and let's have a look where we've got to go. All right. Fecium deposit, 399 U's. Well, I'm not walking there in this storm, mate. I'm going to take my little unwinged frickin' explorer. I don't know how you can call it an explorer when it's only half bloody built. Right, let's go this way then. Look at it. It was only there. If it was a normal planet, I would have walked, people. Honest. Has somebody already freaking mined it? They better not have. That was my Fecium. That was my herd. Okay. Um, that's not good, is it? Uh, is it just that? That little nodule? This? Is that, is that it? Is that all I'm getting? Oh, for fudge's sake. It's lucky we've got that duplication technique nailed, isn't it, people? Uh, we came here to dig up turd and we got freaking turd amounts. Yes, that's, that's a terrible amount of Fecium, isn't it? Okay, right. Um, I'm just getting silicate powder now. That was hardly worth it. Hardly worth it, that, people. Wouldn't get out of bed in the morning for that amount of dirt. Well, I probably would. If there was any turd in my bed, I'd be out of it in a freaking shot and be seeking a doctor. I guess I would. Right on. Boom, boom, boom. Dum, da, dum, 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 da, da. Right, yeah. Well, we've mined all that out of the ground, haven't we? I'm done, I guess. I do. And um, we better get back in my ship before I melt. Go on. Alright, so we've got some Fecium, but I don't think that's enough Fecium for a whole Fecium frickin' farm, is it? Anyway, let's get this installed into my engines of my ship, so we can pulse around a little bit more without running out of poxy fuel. Yeah, I'll stick that over there. This one's going to be landing gear now, isn't it? No, it's not. It's the, uh, it's the Humboldt drive. Alright, well, we've got a load of this. Lovely. And what's this one? Sentinel fragment upgrade. Don't mind if I do. I'll stick that amongst these guys. Pow! Did that give me a adjacency bonus? I don't think it did. Did that give me a adjacency bonus? I don't think it did. I don't know where to put that. And it doesn't give you stats to let you know exactly what this thing's blanking doing. Oh, shield strength and solar power strength. Okay, I'll stick it there then anyway. All right, coolio. Um, doing good. Doing good so far, people. Doing good. All right, well, I could duplicate that Fecium when it comes to building my farm, which I think I would do. that would do the trick. We've got some, and I'll do the duplication method. Anyway, people, we're going to head on up and we're going to be using the teleporter. This time I'd use the one in the Nexus because the, the um, station's a little bit far away. And awesome times. I'll be teleporting back down to my base. I'll see you at the teleporter in here.
You are there, chums. Something I just spotted while I was running up here is on my freighter. I've got a load of modules. I've got a movement module, which... Oh, I can just install it straight from here. Well, that's handy, even though it's outside a teleporter range. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got another scanner module here. It's going to break my scanner. So now I need to just look at the one that's not going to give me a lot on fauna analysis. That one's going to give me plus 5%, which is pretty good. That one also gives me plus 5%. That one gives me 6%. This one is going to also give me 6%. So I get rid of the 5, which is the lowest 5, which is that one. Get rid of that one. And now that's given me probably enough to get those faunas. So I didn't need to buy one, is what I'm saying to you people. So I might have just wasted a little bit of money there. Stick that into here. And what else have I got? I've got movement modules. I've got all sorts going on here. Oh, it's a rocket. There's a trade rocket. Fine. And we've got this, which is a hyperdrive module. Lovely. So that's going to up our range on the old hyperdrive. Might as well stick that over there. Put that in there. So I've got a little bit of adjacency bonus. Have we got any more of them? That'd be freaking lovely, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, I've got another one here. So we can put that in there. Antimatter ejector. In fact, I'll stick that there. Put that up there. We're going to run out of freaking storage space at this stage, or technology space, whichever. Got another mining beam. There we are. Chikapow. Nice. Anything else for anything else? Got a couple of other bits I could install, but you know what? That's um, pretty good anyway. Oh, OK. We've got landing gear as well. Uh, great. Um, I can't really move that around unless I put that there. Go back over to there. They've changed the icon for that, haven't they? Okay, pow. Put that in there. There we are. Ah, oh, dang it! Damn, damn, damn! Okay. Right. Put that down there for a second. Move that over there. And put that in there. There we are. Is that another landing gear one? No. That's an advanced translator, which I, I can't be asked with. Anyway, let's go back to my base then, people. There we are. Just, just giving you a bit of housekeeping. Right now, so my bases, your bases. And we're going back there. Sweet. I'll see you back down there, people. Okay, chums, I'm just down to port. Before I actually teleport down to my base, I'm just going to do an upgrade here, which is free anyway. And I might put that... Yeah, I'm just... I was thinking about putting in technology, but it's it's the multi-tool that I'm running out of space. If I head on over to here, and I'm looking for the farming materials now, people. So I need those more than anything. I mean, I could get a teleporter as well. That's going to be handy to have. And if there's any power sort of stuff, like um, the solar panels and all that sort of shenanigans. Is it under that menu? It doesn't appear to be. Let's carry on going then. And I need all of the farming bits and bobs. So let's see if we can find those. There's so many pages in here, isn't there? It really is. Okay, well, here's some of the power stuff. That's free anyway. And I want the power reactor for my teleporter. Might as well get a solar panel. And I may as well get a battery. I guess. Done, dilly, and done. And let's go over this way. Need to get that. Sweet. And the plant that I want is the turdy one, which is... Is it that one? Did you, no, that's Mordite. So we want that one, the gut root flower. So to get that, I need to buy gamma weed, even though we're not going to plant gamma weed. And then I need to pick up the gut root flower. Boom. Now you are going to need the hazmat gauntlet to pick these, I think. So... I think you get rewarded them, so just make sure you've claimed all your rewards and hopefully you're going to get the hazmat gauntlets, but it's not a given. There we are, we'll get those. Um, sweet. I don't know which one pops the hazmat gauntlets. Chikapow. So you know what? I'm just going to get them off of Celine because she sells them anyway. So you go, let's go into here. Exosuit upgrades. Oh, apparently we've already got them. So I might have already got them from a previous reward then, people. Let's just make sure I've got them equipped. I haven't got them equipped right now, so we're going to put those in. Ah, I need sodium nitrate. All right, fine. I might be. I might still have enough sodium to spin into sodium nitrate. Don't know, though. I've got... Actually, I've got quite a lot. Oh, look, I've got a shield module there, just hiding all the way down at the bottom. Sweet, we'll stick that in. And what's this as well? I've got that. That can go into here, too. Boom. There we go. Lovely jubbly. All right, well, there we are. That was worth doing. And did I get all the planter bays I blinking needed? I think I did. I just buy the little tray. Oh, for fudge sake. Did I? Or did I buy the big tray as well? I can't remember. I'm just going to double check or else it's another blinking trip all the way up here. I didn't. There you go. It's 10. 
Luckily, I've got quite a lot of that stuff. Anything else for anything else there? No, that's all I really need. Lovely jubbly. Nice. Oh, I might get that, actually. I might just get one of those uh, carbon racks over here, because they're, they're quite handy to have. Brilliant. Okay, thank you very much, merchants. I guess. Right, now let's go to my base. And now I can put down these planters and have those grow in where we're doing the next stage of all of this. And hopefully it's not going to take too long to grow out. All right. And yeah, that sodium I can spin up into the activated kind of whatever it is. Anyway, I'll see you at my base, people. OK, chums. Well, I've built on out my base. So, yes, yeah, so all I did was... Uh, I, I just done wire glitches to put all this together. So to, just to show you what I did, once you're at a base computer, you can put down stuff you don't got. It's like here. I don't. I didn't have all the materials for that, and I have now. But here you go. If I put down one of these, look, I haven't got all the parts for that. If I go into wire mode by pressing triangle, okay, and then if I press triangle and wire together. I should be able to put them down. Look at that. You, you shouldn't even really have that many teleporters in a singular area. But there we are. That's going to give me a load of sodium as well, isn't it? So I do need a load of um, sort of uh, the uh, next step of sodium, whatever that is. Sodium nitrate. So let's just uh, make some of that anyway. So there we go. And I'll show you my base while I've got this on the bake. Let's put in a load of that sodium. Sodium, sodium, where are you? Uh, da -dun -dun -dun. Sodium. There we go. Put that in there. And uh, we need to fuel that, it's a bit of carbon, and there we go. So that's going to be doing that, that's going to take 34 seconds. So this is my base that I've built then, people. Using that wire glitch technique, I've put down these planter trays. I used the fecium to put fecium plants in there. They're going to take a little while to grow. And I've also put down a teleporter. I put the teleporter over near to this giant portal. Heck yes, I did. So let's see how long these are going to take to grow, peeps. So they're going to take another 3 hours and 53 minutes, which is quite a long time. And yeah, I've got the hazmat gauntlets in my exosuit, so I should be able to pick these stuff up. Oh, there you go. That's what I need the sodium nitrate for. Heck yes, we only need 20 of it, so I could always stop this now. Oh, it's finished now anyway. There you go. Let's take that out of there. Let's pick up my little portable refiner. And let's just get those hazmat gauntlets installed. Okay, and we'll be back here to pick up all this stuff in a bit. Yeah, so all I did was wired up all these sort of solar panels to a battery. I've put in some biofuel reactors near to these plant in standards, just in case I need to fuel these because of night time. Now I'm going to hit on upper portal coast. Let's head on over here. I mean, I've already activated it. I keyed in a blinking portal address earlier, peeps. So I don't know whether I can do it a second time. I should be able to. Here we go. There it is. Let's go and hit this one up then. Let's activate portal. Let me get you the portal code, people inside of the view of us. So this one is for the hills are alive, for the highest mountains. So we go activate portal. So firstly, we've got a Diplo and a Pterodactyl and another Diplo. Yeah, that's all the dinosaurs and a box to put them in. Heck yes. And a giant mountain. Yes, you know, Noah's Ark had to get up to with all the fishies. Heck yes. To a waypoint at the top of that mountain. Saw his own reflection in the flood. Heck yes. On his boatyman boat face. And then, you know, there was an eclipse because, you know, why not? It's an act of God. And then there was a freaking dragonfly fly that flew up and said, hello. And um, yeah, and then reflects on it. There we go, people. A little story with that one. I know. I know he's slightly insane, people. Right, so this should take us to the planet that has got the biggest hills. Now, what I have heard, I don't know whether this is true, but if you are to land on one of those hills and it's not quite high enough, you can just build a ladder on top of it or a staircase going up, and apparently it pops a badge. That was from Adventures with Dread, so it's quite a reputable source. OK, well, I've arrived, Kated. Right here, lovely jubbly. The guy who asked, what a cool name. That's a pretty cool name, isn't it? Right, where's my blinking shifty ship? Oh, it's up there on the mountain. And there's quite a high mountain already. But anyways, we're going to be jumping up to my ship. Hopefully if I make it. And looking for the highest mountain we can find. Yeah, people, so let's take to the skies. Now we could use Adventures with Dreads technique if this mountain isn't high enough. I mean, these mountains don't feel like they're any higher than the mountain I went to previously. I mean, is this a high mountain? I don't know where it is. It doesn't feel that high. Okay, well, um, let's land right on the tip of the tip of this one. Let's see if this works. Okay. Uh, I mean, I could put it down a base computer and, and climb a little higher, but let's see if this pops the badge. Mm, it hasn't. 
And I'm not seeing many other high mountains here, to be honest, people. So it's a bit of a con, isn't it? All right, well, um, we'll fly around a little bit more. I don't think I'll be able to put a base as close as I wanted to this one anyway. So let's uh, just carry on flying for a bit. Let's see if we can spot something higher than this. All right, uh, let's go this way, I guess. Actually, let's let's go to a compass direction from the actual portal. I'm flying south, people. Let's see how we get on going south, shall we? Dream a dream, and you can fly away. You know what? I don't I don't see many high mountains here. I mean, this one looks just as high as the last one I was on. Seriously, is this really the highest mountains? Hmm. Okay. Um, budget. I think I'm going to use Adventures with Dread sort of um, way of doing it. Yeah, let's just land here then. And uh, let's see if we can build a massive, great big walkway into the sky, people. All right. If, unless this pops it. I mean, I could run up this hill and it might blink and work. Let's go and have a look, see. But I know that I found a, a, a one of these myself just on the actual rendezvous. I think it was in one of the rendezvous systems. I don't think this is a hard badge at all to pop, really. But uh, there we are. Um, let's let's try Ventures with Dread sort of idea then. Let's uh, put this down. Let's just claim a base here. And we're going to build a massive, great big freaking walkway into the sky, people. I've not tried this. I don't know whether it works. If this works, thank you, Adventures with Dread. Right, so I've got quite a lot of carbon on me. So hopefully this is going to work then. Right, so we want ourselves at the timber area. Let's just spin this around that way. Pow. And let's just walk up this, I guess, and put them down as and when we need to. Oh, great. I can only do five, actually. Then we're going to run out of carbon and pure ferrite. All right, well, we can do this. And put a loader here. And then I just delete them. And then hopefully use all the bits to go up a little bit higher. There we go. So where's the highest mounting reward? Let's have a look, see. Dilly day, boots on the ground, linguist, where are you? Uh, highest mounting, the bounty, hot blooded. Hold on, have I already. The hills are alive, there we go. At least 625 views up. Okay, current elevation, 492. Oh, it is working, look. Okay, all right, adventures with dread. Building a staircase does appear to work. There we go, people. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Right, so now I need a lot more carbon. So you know what? Let's just grab this. Put that there. And let's put a load of carbon in it. At least I think that's what I need. Let me just double check on the walls. Cause, yeah, carbon. That's all I need. So let's go into here. Get my lovely, lovely carbon, which I've got 15 of the stuff. Have we got any condensed carbon I could put in here? Yes, I have. Let's turn that into carbon. Oh, great. Let's put my 15 carbon in there to turn that into carbons. That's going to get only 200 and something carbon, which is a little bit better. I'll just move it from one stack to the other. We will get this done, people. Okay, so if you haven't seen this duplication technique, I think this is the first time I'm showcasing it in this video. I did use this down to actually clone a load more sort of fecium, but if I put that into here, then all I'm going to do is go into here and get my portable finer and put it directly over the top. I did this in episode one as well. So put it directly over the top. Like that. Chicka pow. Pow. Chicka boom. Now, when you're actually lifting these refiners off, somebody inside of my um, comments told me just to leave the last one there. So if you count how many you've put down, you can carry on going. I'm just looking at the ring at the top, and when it looks like there's only one there, I'm just going to start putting refiners back on the top, even though if there's just two there, it doesn't really matter too much. But you can just leave it in there. Then you don't have to put it back down, put the stuff back in, or all that sort of shenanigans. So it saves you an extra step. You can just keep duplicating it out still. Okay, so there we go. Let's put those up again. There you go. I've done one too many then. But there we go. Let's now put in the wall. Well, I can do 50 of these now, so that should do the trick. So I think you need about 5 to 100, so I'll go for 6, and then we'll go for a floor panel. So I think it's about 6 to 100 anyway, on the old jetpack on use. Let's have a look. So if I fly up here, 
hopefully that's going to be the 100 I need. Nope, that gives you about 50. So it's about 10 U's per wall. Okay, fine. Ba -dum -ba. Ba -dum -ba -dum. So if I go 7 then, just to be sure... Let's do one more. Let's just be. Let's live life dangerously. And put that. Not that side. The other side. Oh, fudge sake. Am I in camera mode still? I don't want to fall all that distance. There we go. I think that's done it. Here we go. Let's fly on up then. Lovely, lovely. Come on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, so close. All right. Well, can I just put in these then for the rest of the way? Let's do it easy peasy. 671, 674, 675. That really doesn't do it as quickly. So yeah, let's put in these. And let's put in some walls again. One, three, four, five, six. And let's put in a floor. Is that round that way. Oh, for fudge sake! That's what I didn't want to happen. I wasn't in camera mode. Ah, oh, some biscuits. Right, well, I'm going to have to get all the way back up there, people. Okay, people, I just scanned a creature while I was down here, and it gave me the discovery amounts, because now every creature I scan is worth a shed load of freaking units. So there you go, I popped that badge anyway while I was down here, so it's not a wasted journey. Well, it freaking is, but, you know, I'll see you at the top end anyway, people. Yay! I'm all the way at the top, and I'm 605 views. So let's just put down some more wall. One. Ah! Let's go into camera mode. Two, three, four, and five. Just want to be making sure that I've got enough there. And over there. Let's see if this does it. Come on. 625 is what we've got to aim for. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! You know what? I'm just going to do this with a staircase now. Okay, here we go. And I'm just going to put a little platform at the top to signify that you've reached your quota. Chicka boom! There we go, it does work. Adventures with Dread was right. And um, I didn't put the floor panel there, even though I wanted to. And we're falling, and I've got no jetpack to cushion my fall. This is going to be ugly, people. This could kill me. Holy fudge. Oh, for fudge sake. Oosh! I survived. I freaking survived! I can't believe I survived! <laughs> there you go, people! So that's how you can do that badge, even if the mountains aren't freaking high enough. Righto, well, there you go. There's that portal address for no freaking reason. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm going to head back to my ship and I'm going to fly back on up to the actual Nexus. I'm going to use a teleporter to go back to my base because I've got some more portal codes to get us to all the rendezvous points now, people. Sorry that took so long. Righto, people. Well, this is also an extreme sentinel planet, and I got chased by sentinel interceptors. Now I'm being chased by actual sentinels, so I'm trying to hide from them. I'm going to use my base just to get rid of the sort of, like, wanted level. And hopefully they're not going to find me all the way up here anytime soon. Okay, cool. So hopefully... Yeah, there you go. They're searching for me now. So hopefully I'm going to lose my wanted level. But this planet is... It's not the greatest planet for doing this. But, you know, my base is here. It's now uploaded. I'm going to go and give it a sensible name. I'm going to call it Captain Steve's Ladder, OK? And look for that when you come here. And it's south from the portal, OK? I'll tell you how many U's it is south from the portal. Actually, I don't think I can because I don't think it shows the portal anymore. But it was south, wasn't it? I, I, well, I flew south from the portal to get here. I can't remember how many U's it was. Oh, Fudgerama, look. There's a little poxy sentinel just hovering around by my base computer. How am I supposed to get to that without triggering the freaking sentinel? This is going to be fun, isn't it? Mm. I would shoot something over there to distract him over there, but he's not going to go. He's just going to stay there, isn't he? A little freaking git. He's going to spot me as soon as I get down this blinking ladder. All right, well, let's, let's leg it over here then. Look, see, he knows I'm here. Let's just interact with this as quickly as possible. He's probably going to shoot me in the face uploading this. Okay, anyway, Captain Steve's ladder it is. Captain Steve. I'm just going to put Captain Steve ladder. There we are. There you go, people. Hopefully you're going to see it. The only thing is, sometimes it only shows the last few bases that were uploaded. So I can't guarantee it's going to be there. But hopefully you're going to see it. And hopefully it's going to do you a favour. But if not, you know, you... It's not a hard badge to pop. I did find a planet just covered in loads of really high mountains during the actual expedition. So, you know. But you can always do what I did. Build a massive ladder like Adventures with Dread suggested. 
her and Salute Mondo Adventures with Dread. And if you haven't hit up Adventures with Dread, she's got an awesome intro to her videos. Okay, so it's really catchy. Okay, people, well, I'm back at the Nexus. You can see there on the expedition, I've got to build a Wonders projector. So I'm going to put down a Wonders projector at my base because we're going to be teleporting back to the base anyway. So we can use the portal to get to Rendezvous 2, Rendezvous 3, Rendezvous 4, and so forth and so on. So yes, we might as well do the Wonders projector when we get there. I'm going to go to the teleporter. I'll see you down at my base. Right, there, we're back and base. Lovely. Sweet. So now I want to put down a Wonders Projector. Where do we find these? They do hickeys. Not under that menu. Not under that menu. There it is, under the chair. And there's the Wonder Protector there. Right, so I haven't got enough to put this in, so I'm going to go into wire mode by pressing triangle. And I'm just going to press triangle and place button at the same time. There we go. One Wonder Projector. Might as well stick something in the Wonder Projector, mightn't we? I guess. Make it look half semi-decent. Oh, to put something in your Wonders catalogue, first you have to go into your Discoveries and pin something as a Wonder. So I'm going to have that planet. There you go, L3. Added. I'm going to put it there. You can give it a name. And planet. There you go. Boom! Yes, I know. Very apt. Right, let's stick that inside of my Wonders projector. Planet. There you go, people. When you interact with this now, you should see... The actual portal address for it as well. There you go, that's where my base is, I guess. Brilliant. Awesome. Right, well that's Wonder Projector done. I can claim that badge too. Lovely jubbly. And we haven't gone to Rendezvous 2 yet, have we? We've got done Rendezvous 1, I believe. Yes, because we've done all the second ones. So we know, now we're just going to use the teleporter to get to Rendezvous 2. So let's go and hit that one up. So here we are. Portal code. Oh, we've got to go through here. To the other side. And I'm going to stick in... Rendezvous 2 code, people. So there we are. Let's go and hit this up. And I need the code for Rendezvous 2. Alright, Rendezvous 2, Rendezvous 2. There we go. It should be a planet called Sibakim. Okay. So let's see if it brings us out to that planet then. Activate portal. We want a budgie. There we go. Or pigeon. Double reflexion, eh? And a diplodo. Followed by one of these Triforces from the Legend of Zelda and a Fisherman Fish Fish. And one of these waypointy thingies and a Reflexione. The last four now, people, is a beetle. It's got two legs missing, so it's not a spider. An Eclipse, a Dragonfly, Fly, and a Reflexion. Sweet. Done. Who goes? Right, well, that's spinning up. Yeah, the reflection, I used to see it as being like a tiki face, but it's two faces facing each other. Yeah, pretty darn sweet. Yeah, reflection. Okay, cool. Anyway, well, that's what people call it anyway. There's no real actual names for these glyphs in the verse. Jumping in. I could be wrong, there might be. Send us the wiki. Okay, well, we've arrived located at Rendezvous 2. Lovely jobs. And it's just over there. Rendezvous 2. Right, well, let's get on our ship and let's fly on over to Rendezvous 2, shall we, people? Let's just uh, lock that in. Oh, it's off planet. Okay, cool. Of course it is. We're taking off and we're flying over. I've got a moth lying around in my room. In fact, I've got two of them. Actually, I've got three of them. I've got a whole collection of moths, people. My windows are wide open because it's super hot in here. And of course, having the lights on attracts moths. Yeah, but it's, it's the price I have to pay for freaking ventilation. I have to try and get those moths out after I finish this stream. Right, oh, Rendezvous 2 is over there. Pretty big. They're quite nice, these mobs, actually. Hands to the ambience. Scan them. Units received. Anyway, I'll see you at Rendezvous 2. Okay, something that I'm seeing quite a lot of now, people, at all these points, is bases all over the Rendezvous points. So there's a base there. There's a base up there. There's another base there. So you might be able to just use the actual teleporters from the stations and look for rendezvous bases. I mean, I can't actually see the actual names of these bases or else I'd be able to tell you what they are. Um, I probably would be able to once I get closer, but it looks like we're fairly close to this rendezvous point now. I'm about 500 years away. But yes, it looks like people are glitching bases on top of bases because normally you can't do this. Okay, there you go, people. I've reached Rendezvous 2. While I'm here, I haven't checked this before, but I'm just wondering whether the NPCs here will teach you words. I haven't bothered talking to an NPC at a friggin' archive before, so, to be honest, I don't know whether they do or don't, people. Let's go and find out, shall we? Oh, it's Gex anyway, you know. 
But, you know, if, you, if this was like one that I haven't spoken to, then that's fine. Yes, request dialect help. So if you do go to one of these archive points and you haven't learned those words, it's another way of learning the words, people. Now, my ship is freaking miles away because this didn't render in. It probably didn't render in thanks to the amount of base computers that are all scattered all over the dang thing now. But anyways, there's some bases there. Look, I, I still can't see the names of them. And I can't fly all the way up there to give you the name of them, so... Yeah, there's bases on the Agile Archive. I've, for the life of me, I can't tell you what they are, though. I wonder if I can use this to call my ship in. Let's, let's give it a go. I don't think I've got any nav data on me. No, I don't. All right, cool. So I'm just going to have to call my ship in manually. We'll stick it there. Right, now, I'm going to go back to the Nexus. I'm going to use the Nexus teleporter to get me back to my base so we can use the portal to go to Rendezvous 3. But now I've completed this whole sort of exercise here. Oh, my God. Michael Jackson in across the floor there. Ah, I went and closed out of the menu again. And I've also got the posters now. There you go, people. So that's all of phase one and phase two done using this sneaky method. So let's have a look at the expedition. What have we got left to do? Got a little bit on phase three. We've got to harvest the plants. They're not going to be ready for another couple of hours and it's quite late here in the UK. So I might just render this as a video and do a part three for this. Visit a red star as well. And then that's, that's that one pretty much done after we've done rendezvous three. We've got a few more to do. Yeah, we've got to go into a black hole, go below sea level. I've got a little sneaky tip for that one. And yeah, and we're, we're pretty much there. I mean, we have to do the xenobiology, find six weird creatures. So there's a few that we've got to do yet, people. But you know what? I think we're pretty, we're pretty good. The reality grains. There you go. Coolio. Reward. 500 quid silver. All right, anyways. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to render this video. So I'm going to see you guys next time. So yeah, I will be doing a part three. I mean, building that ladder up to the freaking sky took up quite a lot of this episode. I'm probably... Uh, in the editing, I'll probably speed up a lot of that footage. Yeah, I might leave in the funny bits of me falling off because that was kind of funny. Anyway, salute to Monday, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.